No, sir. Let's go over. This is not for the chats. I thought Huggy lost his glances. I was about to call Jesse. Hey guys, welcome to another cat chats. Today's cat chats is an eating one. I've done like two of these on my channel already and <laughs> while some of you like them, some of you do not. And trust me, I totally understand. Before I got into eating videos, I thought they were really weird. I still think they're weird, but I like weird. And in today's video, I am going to be having dinner with you guys. I am eating Buffalo Wild Wings. I haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings in like six months, guys. Which probably doesn't seem like a long time to you, but if you have been watching me since the beginning of time, oh my gosh. Okay, my camera died. And I'm like every YouTuber in the world, I don't have another battery, so I had to charge it. <laughs> now I'm back and my food is super cold. I even drank my entire Perrier and here I am with another carbonated water. Um, I know it seems like I have an addiction to carbonated water because you always see me with a peri. Sir, you know the people food rule. Take a seat, thanks. Um, I am a little bit addicted to uh, sparkling water and things of that nature. Ever since I quit soda, I... Absolutely not. We're gonna put you right there on the floor, Bobby. I have a small addiction to the bubbly water, okay? But I do drink a lot of regular water throughout the day too, okay, so. I'm sorry, I'm working on it. 2019 is the year of changes for me. And I'm gonna work on that. Which by the way, if you're into bubbly water like me, this is Polar 100% Natural Seltzer Calorie Free Water. And it is orange vanilla, and I swear to you, it tastes like an orange creamsicle. bubbles so good what I was telling you guys before my camera died hum I don't even know how that happened that's a very tight space you just squeeze through I'm just gonna let you be if you guys have been watching me since b-dub Fridays then you have been here since I started my channel because I used to go to Buffalo Wild Wings every Friday with Danny when I was living in Mississippi religiously every Friday the fried pickles they were my life. Although it's not the same when you get it on Postmates. It's not as crispy and crunchy, you know? But still, perfect. I love pickles so much. It's one of my favorite things ever. Pickles and mustard. Which the other day on Twitter, I tweeted, pickles and mustard will make any boring sandwich like extra delicious. And so many of you guys were like, oh, I just threw it in my mouth. Which, if you're one of those people, bone apple tea. I know this is dairy, and I am currently dairy free, but it is so good that I sometimes sacrifice every once in a while for the fried pickles and the delicious Southwest Ranch sauce. I think that's what that is. I have it like every six months, and it's worth it every time. Well, if you are one of those people who have been here since Beat Up Fridays, you will know that I used to eat chicken wings, which I no longer eat chicken wings, and I used to pour cheese all over my fries, which I no longer eat cheese. So, I poured my vegan cheese over my fries. By the way guys, don't eat like this at home. Fried foods are not good for you, but sometimes, every once in a while, you just gotta, you just gotta. Oh, I also got some tortilla chips and salsa because no matter what I eat, I have to have fries, and chips and salsa as my side dish. The chips and salsa are not the best thing on their menu, honestly, but, but I'm telling you, I have tried fried pickles at every single restaurant that offers them, and no one makes fried pickles the way Buffalo Wild Wings does. Nobody. They have the best fried pickles ever. They really do. There are even people in my life who don't like pickles and I've told them like, okay, I understand you don't like pickles, but try these pickles. And they've tried them and they like them. I'm telling you, try the B-Dub fried pickles. They're the best. Also not sponsored. I know in those like um, mukbang videos, I've been starting to watch those a lot recently. Oh my God, I'm addicted. I know in those videos they have food like all over the table and it's like a whole thing. So I tried to get like, you know, lots of stuff because I have been wanting to make this video that I'm about to make for you 
I have been wanting to do it for a few weeks now. You'll understand at the end of this video. But I didn't want to just sit here and make a two minute video. So I thought, you know what? I ordered Buffalo Wild Wings. Let me sit down, have my dinner, and just talk about random things with you guys. By the way, if you're wondering what cheese I poured over this, my favorite vegan cheese is chow cheese. I have tried so many cheese slices, so many. And in my opinion, chow cheese is the best. I like the original one, that's my favorite. I feel like it melts really nicely and I really do like the taste. I don't really like any of the other ones that much, to be honest. If there's one thing that could never be turned vegan is sour cream. <laughs> they can try, but it's never gonna happen. I love pickles. The crunch, so good, so satisfying. You know what's weird? Well, Amelia says this is weird. The other day we were talking about zucchinis and pickles and how much we love them. And then she said something about cucumbers and I was like, ugh, I hate cucumbers. And she was like, that's weird. You like zucchini and pickles, but you hate cucumbers? And I was like, are you like supposed to love them all or hate them all? Comment below if you love them all, hate them all, or if you're like me. Anyway, Buffalo Wild Wings offers a black bean burger, which is what this is. And then I just asked for no cheese, and then I put my own chow cheese right here. And then I added my own mayo from the Just Mayo brand. And we've got ourselves a burger. It's really not bad. I'm not sure if there's dairy in that black bean burger. <laughs> there could be. But I've eaten it so many times that I've never had like, you know, a situation down there. My stomach has always reacted well to that. So I know these eating videos can be so weird, but sometimes it's kind of nice to watch a YouTube video of somebody eating when like you're eating. I used to sit in my car when I worked at the next and I used to have lunch in my car because I didn't know anybody there and I didn't have any friends. I just started working there and I'm super shy so I'm not the first person to be like, hey, what's up? Hi guys, my name's Kathleen. Like, I am not like that. So I used to eat lunch in my car and I used to watch videos of people eating in their car and it was entertaining. It was something to do while I was at lunch, you know? I didn't want to just sit in silence. I wanted to tell you guys about my Sephora conspiracy, which is probably not like my Sephora conspiracy. I'm sure it's a lot of yours as well. I think I mentioned this on Twitter once and so many of you guys were like, yes, I agree. But don't you guys find it really weird that when a product comes out on Sephora, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I am constantly refreshing the just arrived section on my Sephora app. Constantly, I live on it. And so many times when a product comes out, like the day it comes out, it will have a five star rating and like 20 reviews. And all the reviews are everybody praising the product. And I'm like, how, how are you reviewing this product, ma'am? It came out today. I find that so weird. And it's happened with multiple, multiple things. I buy a lot of my products based off of reviews. I mean, obviously that's what YouTube is. I, I, I depend on reviews. I mean, don't get me wrong. Even if something doesn't have any reviews and it's something I really want to try, I'll buy it to see if I like it, of course. But when there are constantly new products releasing on Sephora and like all of them are having these amazing reviews the day they come out, I start to get suspicious. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that they're sending these products to people earlier than they release. Maybe they send them out for PR, not like YouTube PR, not like Beauty Guru World PR, but maybe they send them out to other people for them to try and review on the website, like immediately. <laughs> I don't know. You think there's something going on there? Or is there like a clear explanation? And I'm an idiot. Let me know. I feel so weird when I'm just sitting here like eating and not talking. I feel so awkward. And I feel like I need to cut those parts out because nobody wants to watch me sit here and eat. Even though that's what I do. I watch people sit there and eat. Cause in those like mukbang videos, like people just eat. Like they don't edit their videos. They just eat throughout the video. But you know, it's not, it's not what we do here on this channel. <laughs> I just feel so weird. I'm weird, man. I was tweeting the other day about 
how it makes so much sense now that I know about signs. I don't know everything, but that I'm learning so much about it. My childhood makes so much sense. My brother's a Leo and he was the best at everything. He had to be the best at everything. He knew he was the best at everything. And the crazy thing is that he like was the best at everything. <laughs> That's the funnier part is that he really was, but he wanted you to know it too. And my sister is very, very Scorpio. And as a kid, man, I was really weird. And I know that Aquarians are naturally weird, but I was weird. I'd love to know, do any of you guys have Aquarius kids out there? I know this is random, but do any of you guys have young kids that are Aquariuses that you find them to be rather odd? Because I remember doing a lot of strange things as a kid and my parents not really thinking anything of it. Or at least my parents not making me feel weird about it. Like my favorite thing in the entire world is music. It helps my anxiety. It's just, it. music is life. And as a kid, whenever I would feel really anxious or whenever I would get really nervous about something or whenever I was bored. I used to go to my living room and my mom had this big CD player on top of the TV and it was right in front of a coffee table. And I was obsessed with this one CD in third grade. It was a Madonna CD and it was the CD was blue. I believe the CD was called The Immaculate Collection or something like that. It had a bunch of really famous Madonna songs and I was obsessed with that CD when I was in third grade. It was my life. And I just used to play that CD and walk around my coffee table over and over and over again. Like, like literally, coffee table. And I would just walk around it and walk around it and walk around it listening to the songs, just like jamming. And like my parents would walk by. <laughs> my parents would walk by and give me those like looks like, what is it? But they never asked me about it. Never, they just they assumed that's just how I like to listen to music. And it was, and it was crazy because that continued. I still do that. I have an island in my kitchen, and when I get anxious, I don't listen to that CD anymore, but I put on music and I walk around my kid, my island. True story. But yeah, I'd love to know, do you have any weird Aquarius children? Or are you a strange Aquarius yourself? Because I'm telling you, it's a thing. Speaking of that Madonna CD though, I told you guys this story on Twitter. It was like one of the last days of third grade. Our teacher, Miss Johnson, she told us that we were allowed to bring a CD to school and that we would all take turns playing our favorite song on the CD we brought. So we would listen to everyone's like favorite song on the CD. And I brought Madonna's Immaculate Collection CD. I mean, I'm sure most kids were bringing kids bop, I guess, but I brought my Madonna CD. And when it was my turn to go up to Miss Johnson to put my CD in the CD player, she was like, okay, Madonna, all right, sure. And when she asks me what song I wanna play, I point to like number three or something, and the song is like a virgin. <laughs> and that was my favorite song on the CD, but I had no idea what a virgin was. I just loved that song. I had no idea what I was singing, but it's so funny because I remember it so clear, and now thinking back as an adult, it is so, so funny. But she looked at me and she was like, I was like, why? That's my favorite song. That's my favorite song. That's not fair. You, you let everybody play their favorite song. Like, why aren't, you, why aren't you letting me play my favorite song? She's like, Kathleen, pick any other song. Any other song on this city, I'm not playing that song. And I was like, why? Why? And she's like, just pick another song. <laughs> and I ended up picking Holiday or something like that. But I was so mad. And I think it was the next day or after school where I was talking to a friend of mine and I was telling her the story. And my friend was like, Kathleen, a virgin is somebody who hasn't done it yet. Mind you, I'm in third grade. And when she told me that, I was like, I had never been more embarrassed in my entire life before that point in third grade. I had plenty of embarrassing moments after that, as you guys know. I think about that story all the time and I laugh. It's so, it's so funny, like kids are so innocent. That was just my jam. I had no idea what I was singing, but it was my jam. That teacher was awesome though, let me tell you. Let me tell you something about Miss Johnson, okay? She was my third grade teacher and she was amazing. I had what the Hispanics like to call mamitis. I was extremely attached to my mom, like on another level, I had a stay at home mom. So when it was time to go off to school, I did not handle that very well. And I cried every single day on the first day of school until fourth grade. Fourth grade was the first year where I walked into the class and I didn't turn around and look at my mom and start sobbing. But in third grade, I sobbed walking into Miss Johnson's class and I cried every day for the first week. And then that Monday of the next week when I walked in, it was the first day that I didn't cry because it always used to happen to me. I would always cry like the first week and then I would warm up to the students and the teacher and then it would be fine. <laughs> oh God, I would hate to have me as a child. 
That must have been rough on my mom. <laughs> but that Monday when I walked into class and I didn't cry, Miss Johnson like called me over. I remember clear as day I was wearing a white shirt. Oh my God. I had like little ruffles here. I'll never forget it. And she was holding a manila folder and she like put it in front of her face so that the students wouldn't see what she was telling me. She was like, I am so proud of you for not crying. You're so brave. You're such a big girl. I am so proud of you. And I sobbed hysterically when she told me that. I got so emotional when she said that, that I just started sobbing. I thought it was so nice and I just felt so good after that, like in her class. So I loved Miss Johnson. We need more teachers like Miss Johnson, we really do. I know you're looking at me like, what's happening? You didn't even need half of that. I know, I I'm full already. Danny is gonna tear up the rest of that. Not the bean burger, he would never, but I'll just eat that later and then he'll eat the rest of that. I just zoomed you in a little bit. I know you're like, what's happening? You're getting really close and personal. I know, I kinda wanted to do this part of the video without the food in front of me, cause I want it to be a little bit more serious. This is a very serious thing, so I didn't wanna be like eating while I tell you guys this, and I didn't wanna do an entire dedicated video to this because there's not much I can say at all and I didn't want today to be a waste of a video but I can't wait any longer and I have to tell you what it is. Disappointing my subscribers is the last thing I ever want to do which is why I know this is so important. There have been a lot of questions and concerns about KO Polish, things that I have been reading for the past few weeks, all of your concerns, all of your comments, everything I have been screenshotting them, I've been saving them. I have been reading and going through all your concerns and everything. Um, and the, oh my God, this is so hard to even say. I don't, want, I don't even wanna talk about this. The rumors are true. Um, Kale Polish is ending, but, but I don't want you guys to worry. I don't want you guys to freak out. I want you to know that everything's gonna be okay. Even though Kale Polish is obviously, of course, my brand, and it's so much more, it's everything. It's what we've built here, us together. I am not the only owner of Kale Polish. I am not the only owner of this brand. And because of that, I really can't go into details as to why or how or any of those questions I know you guys have. Believe me when I say that the most important thing to me is the relationship I have with you guys and the trust and the relationship that we've built. And I know that you guys deserve an explanation and I know that you guys have a hundred questions and I promise you that that is going to come. I wanna give you more details, but legally, honestly, I can't right now. I cannot legally talk about this right now. I just knew I had to sit down and tell you guys this. And I know it's really hard to hear. It's been really hard for me as well. My subscribers will always come first for me. In the future, I'll make another video and um, I will answer a lot of the questions you guys have been asking. Um, and that's actually where I'm gonna end this video. I know that's a lot to process, so I feel like saying anything else after this feels just sucky. I just want you guys to trust my journey and trust the process. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me and the fact that you stay by my side through so many things, um, so many hurdles in my life. There have been a lot of ups and downs and the fact that so many of you guys have till this day remained a subscriber and you keep watching and keep commenting, I just, I cannot thank you guys enough. I just feel like you guys always have my back and I wanna thank you for that and I want you guys to know I'm always gonna have your back. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this video. I wanted to just get my mind off of things before I drop this this bomb, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do more videos like this. Actually, Amelia and I wanna do like a whole mukbang series on my channel. Well, I don't like to say mukbang because I feel like I do it totally wrong, but we actually wanna do it like professional status, like how all the mukbangers do it on YouTube, like with the little table, the little mic. We wanna get into it, but maybe we could do it like once a month on my channel if that's something you guys are interested in. I could add that in like my cat chat series, whatever you guys wanna see. Let me know what other cat chats you wanna see on my channel as well, by the way. I feel like I haven't posted a cat chat in forever, but I would love to know what you guys want me to talk about. Let me know. Oh, and another thing, I know that Monday there was like a non makeup -y video and today there was a non makeup -y video and you're like, where's the beauty? I'm sorry, I will have a makeup related video going up on my channel on Friday. So come back Friday if you're not into these kinds of videos, which I understand. Come back Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Thank you guys for subscribing and for being the best subscribers ever. If I can finish this video, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.